hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome i hope you all are doing well so in this video i'm going to be installing my diy crochet wig yes you heard me it's a crochet wig with a diy lace frontal i made from scratch so if you haven't seen a video on how i make this beautiful wig using only one pack of braiding hair please go ahead and do that i'll put the link in the description box down below so be sure to check out that video so if you already seen the video on how i make this beautiful wig now let's move on to the next step okay so i'm just showing you guys the wig just brushing it through using my fingers okay looking good okay so to start right here i'm going ahead to use the scissors and i'm going ahead to cut out the excess lace around the uh, the front of the capsule so i'm just tracing around the hairline starting from the back of the ear all the way down to the front of the cap just tracing along the hairline okay i'm done uh, cutting out the excess lace from the frontal so this is how it's looking so far all right so for the next step right here i'm going to go ahead and measure out the length of the elastic band i need in order to secure the wig in place so when measuring when cutting your elastic band you want to make sure not to cut it too short if you cut it too short it will end up giving you a headache end up pulling on your scalp too tight that will give you headache so you want to make sure not to cut it too short so once you go ahead and um, measure out your elastic band and you're satisfied with the length just go back in to place it on the back of the of your head to make sure it's the right length okay so now right here i'm gonna go ahead and attach the uh the elastic band to the wig cap to the black wig cap okay moving on so to sew down the elastic band right here i'm going ahead to attach it to the um uh, to the end of the elastic band on the black cap so i'm not sewing it on the lace part of the cap i'm attaching it to the to the end of the elastic band on the black cap so this will help to give me more firm hold on the elastic band so it will this will ensure that it doesn't rip and also this will ensure that I don't that i don't sew on the hair itself so just attaching it to the end like that okay looking good all right so next right here i'm going ahead to tie the tray to make sure it's secured so next i'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing or the under end of the elastic band so also doing the same thing i'm going to be attaching the the elastic band i'm going to be sewing it down to the end of the elastic band on the black cap and again this will help to ensure that the, uh, the elastic band stays in place and it's give you that firm hold okay so moving on to the next step i'm gonna go ahead and create some baby hair so before creating the baby hair you want to first of all go ahead and put on the wig and check if you need to do extra cutting around the the ear side of the uh, of the wig for me i didn't have to uh, do extra cutting because i follow the the hairline i drew on the cap while making the the wig so everything was perfect so right now i'm just going ahead to create the baby hair because they are cute love the baby hair they're always cute even on my natural hair it's just cute all right okay so next i'm going to take a, a foundation and also a foundation brush so i'm going to go ahead and apply that on the lace part of the wig not the black cap okay the lace part of the of the wig so i'm just going ahead to apply the foundation okay so this is how the lace frontal is looking after applying the foundation on the lace part of the wig so next i'm going to go ahead and put on the wig ok 
Okay, so to secure the, the wig in place, I'm going to be using the Got To Be um, spray to secure the wig in place. So I'm just going ahead to spray where I want the lace front so to sit, making sure not to accidentally spray my eyeball. <laughs> so I'm just using my hand as a guide to make sure that I don't spray my eye. So after, after spraying it down right here, I'm just going in with a blue dryer to dry it a little bit, but not fully dry. So just a little bit. Then next, I'm going ahead to place the wig uh, the lace frontal on top so I'm going to be doing a little bit at a time so that we have to ensure that I secure the wig properly by working with a little little space at a time so and also this is my first time using the go to be uh, spray so just um, bear with me I will have more information or more details on how to properly do it next time but for now what i did using the got to be spray i sprayed it on where i want the lace front to sit so next using the dryer i blow in a little bit of air to make it a bit uh sticky before adding the before placing the lace front on top at the same time using my fingers to hold down the lace while going back in with a with a dryer to properly dry the um the got to be spray again i'm going to do it on this uh, side as well using the got to be spray and spraying it on where i want the lace front to sit so next i'm using the dryer to blow in a little bit of uh, uh, air to kind of make it a bit sticky before placing the lace front down so right here i'm using my fingers to hold down the lace at the same time going back in with the dryer to properly dry the spray and also using my fingers to add pressure to the lace to make sure it properly secured down Okay guys, just a quick reminder, if you haven't seen the video on how I made this beautiful DIY crochet wig, I will put the link in the description box down below, so be sure to check out that video. Alright, so I'm done laying down the baby hair, so next right here, I'm going ahead to tie a hairband around the edges so this will help to lay flat um, so by the time I'm done doing my makeup I'll just take it off and my hairstyle is ready to go so okay I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup off camera and I'll be back okay I'm back makeup is all done so the next step now is to remove the head wrap and uh, comb and style it So this is the final result of the DIY crochet wig frontal and I love it. Love the length, love the color, love everything about this wig and I hope you guys do too. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up up and also if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching today's video and also please do not forget to turn on the notification bell button so that way whenever i post a new video you will get notified of the new video all right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one